Hi everyone, this is Omoba. So today I will be teaching you a simple mock-up in uh, Pix app. So first thing we do, you get this app that is called Photo Room. So in Photo Room, you're going to, I downloaded some uh, images we're going to be using. So I downloaded this particular image from online, this particular image from online. So we're going to use Photo Room. If you check one of my videos, I talk about how you can easily remove the background of your image. So Photo Room is doing this for us as fast as possible. So we can continue with the project. What you do is you click on background. When you click on background, you can erase background, replace. So just click on erase background. You can see. So this image automatically is PNG file. So you can uh, use it without. It, it's not having any background like this. So let us go. I already have it on my phone. So let us go to PixArt Frame. So let us open PixArt Frame. So this page is gonna pop up. You can see the blue, uh, the purple icon popping up just click on it that is for you to create new so what you can do here fine what you can do here you can start up whatever you wherever you want to come from so, but i think you can start with this particular uh image that you want to use this particular image you want to use so let us go the one i've removed the background i think i've removed this background so let us start with this Sorry for the ads, okay. I think I'm starting with this. Fine. So you can see, go to tools. This is tools. Go to tools. In your tools, go to crop. So crop off that watermark, and you can just make it more visible. So fine. So from here, what you do now, you already have your image. So you go to, under here, you scroll down, you go to add photo. It is very simple very very simple when you're adding photos so let us go to uh, the particular image that I use so I think it's in a uh, pixel lab so let us go to pixel lab so I'm gonna okay so we are going to be using this particular image add image you can see so what I need to do is just for me to stretch the image you can reduce the opacity so that you can see the effect of the image on this particular uh, on this particular was it so I'm going to set it where I want it to be you can see that it takes the cover of all so increase the opacity back or increase the opacity you don't still keep scrolling till you get to where you see something like blend this is blend you go to blend so start uh, touching it one after the other this is normal this is green this is multiple. I think this multiple will do the work very neat and better. Darking, lighting. So sometimes you can use this multiple and you might not get the required mock-up you want. Just be trying it one after the other. You will see one that will work for you better. It is based on background sometimes, but just use this multiple. So this multiple will just uh, overlay work sometimes too. You want to overlay one something on the another, so this most people we only we just cast the image on the back on what you have on the background, whatever you have on the background right now. This is going to cast the image on it, like mask the image. You can see, you can see I can move them around, I can move it around. So it's as simple as this, as simple as this. What you just do, you just click on it and you download it. That's all you have it here. You can take it now. It's a PNG file, it's having no background, so you can take it wherever you want to use it for your editing. You can send it to your client like this, it's fine. So let us still try one more. One more. So we are going to be using this particular one. So I've removed the background. We're going to be using this particular uh, mix stuff to remove the background. So let us do the cropping off of that particular. Um, watermark so now let us go so here you can look for any image you want to use to so go to add image assuming you're having this bottle this i think this is milk but i don't have a design for that i don't have a design for that specifically but let me check my archive maybe i'll see something that looks like that but we can still use the same uh, image in case you want to work you can use but when you have your design I think you are good to go but we can use the same image so let us pick on the same image i used 
what I can just do is for me to scratch. Remember to put the opacity so that you know which area and which area you're going to be casting on this particular uh, bottle. So I need to adjust this a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm good to go, good to go, good to go. So now let me go to blending. I'm still going to be using the same multiple. So blending, multiple, fine. So you can see the edges. So I can I can still stretch this up. Okay, fine. So you can see you can see the difference here that in this particular place, it take all the curves and the bends. It's mashed on the bottle perfectly as if it is free and it is also photorealistic so now assume you design something that has to do with something like uh, milk stuff you can use this type of mock-up you can go online go to free peak go to on blast you can just go online you are going dial uh you can go to ice stock too you can just look for whatever you want to do put mock-up PNG. So you see it. If it is can, drink can, you can just type can PNG mockup. So it will bring something related. You can just download them. Some you see them in PNG. PNG means it doesn't have background. I don't need to be explaining to the professional terms. And JPEG means it is just like a normal images that we share. It's having background. So if it's a JPEG, you can take it to remove.pg to remove the background or use uh what's it called or use photo room so i think we are good to go like this let, let us try one more once you do you just download this particular one so let us try one more i think we should try one more this card so let us try one more so i think i downloaded this particular t-shirt i downloaded this particular t-shirt so let us for okay i downloaded this particular t-shirt I don't need to do anything to this thing it's just for me to go to add photo and go and pick whatever i want to put on it i can just go and pick whatever i want to put on it so i think um let me go to my pixel lab to go and look for any image i can put on it okay fine so i'm looking for a png in this uh stage you don't need anything that's actually gonna take your time okay let me put this Tom C visual okay fine you can see so I can just stretch it out and use the same method if you put it like this though it's gonna actually work but that casting or that masking will make it look more real and it will take all the curves and bends so let us go to multiple so it's not actually visible like this but it is more realistic and more photorealistic than when you just place it on it so something like this so you can try any one of the mock-ups that you can easily do which are in 2d 3d we work on 3d mock-ups maybe in uh, other classes or other videos we work on 3d mock-ups so for now